why hello everybody welcome to the troop so this game like i said is kind of like xcom meets uh world war ii game like close combat back in the day uh so we're going to go and play so i played some of these before but they came out with a bunch of new missions as you can see just a whole bunch of missions and so we're just gonna go start down the line um well he wants me to play as can i only play as the Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do the first three ones as the British, mainly because a lot of people haven't seen this game. They have know nothing about it. So why not? We'll go ahead and we'll start it and we'll blitz through these and hopefully not get too badly shot up. Or, or we will. I don't know. We'll see. It's been a while since I've played these missions. Um, I typically play... You know both sides at some point i like playing the germans because i like their tanks that's it that's that's me german tanks crunchy rolly explodey shooty yeah and so as you'll see it has all sorts of nice little uh ooh, 100 bits by the night owl thank you uh yeah, this game has quite a bit of little uh, hex options. Okay, D-Day. Oh, five, 30 hours. As dawn breaks, a section of the British Airborne Infantry dropped during the night have finally located their objective. They must secure the area before the first Allied troops arrive on the beaches. Contact. And if you hear weird construction, I put my uh, indentured servant's son to work uh, demolishing part of the, my uh, my residence. So worry not there. Your mission is to eliminate or push out all the enemies marked in the junction area as quickly as possible. Confirm. All right. Wazda, uh-huh, or arrows. Uh, rotate, drag, and zoom. Roger, roger. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Well, yeah, I see them right there. All right, let's look. Where do we have? Okay, so we have some... What are these guys? Airborne infantry. They have smoke grenades, regular grenades, and they can fire. So if I remember right, so you can... What happens? So if you look here on the three, see the up arrow? That means they're standing. Uh, so if I run over here, that means they'll be uh, standing. And I don't want to do that because then they can be seen. But if I go to two, that means they're still crawling and remained in cover and won't be seen. So I'm going to go ahead and move them down there. Kind of crouching. All right, let's see our views. Okay, so this is our line of sight. Uh, blue means we have good line of sight and purple is partial cover. Okay, who do we have here? Some light machine gun infantry. Who do we have here? Okay, they have pretty good shots over here. Um, yeah, I don't care. That's good enough for me. All right, one dead, 60% uh, suppression. Okay, so since I'm in foliage, it gives me full cover, even though I can be all the way uh, uh, running, basically. So I'm going to move up here in cover. Let's see our line of sight. What do we got? Okay. 21% times 3. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and fire. I don't like them. Keep them suppressed. Okay, these guys are now suppressed. And let's look here. Is that it? Just my three? Okay. End my turn. Oh. Okay, well, fine. Uh, what can you do? Can you fire at them? No. Smoke grenades? Yeah, let's smoke grenade. Let's pop smoke here, just in case there's anyone over here. All right, well, now they're seen. Um, all right. Yeah, confirm. I don't mind. Ah, they took the building. No. Suppression. Oh, here's some bad boys down here. I guess I should have scouted more. But, uh, oh well. Oh well. So let's move here to give us some better line of sight. 
We're still low down. Now we have some good flank and spank here. All right, let's hit these guys. One dead, 50% suppression. Uh, let's keep getting this guy up. Oh, yeah. These guys should be wiped out now. Caught out in the open. Eliminated. So I'm going to move up and try and engage these guys. And I'm going to pop smoke right here. Block some line of sight. Okay. Can I grenade? No, no grenade. Um, where can I fire? Uh, we'll just fire in the area, see if we can cause some suppression. There we go. Ah, they're suppressing me. Small arms fire. The smoke's doing its job, keeping them, uh, Yeah, I'll just uh So this is a big hedgerow, so it should give me some good uh some good cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop there. Um I'm gonna keep these guys suppressed. Just put on some fire. Alright, where can I move? So we're gonna move right here and we're gonna see if we can throw some uh oh you want me to hydrate, huh? Alright. Ah, good old hail. All right, grenades, 30%, but hey, it's something. Well, that sucks. Like I said, XCOM. But that was a pretty low chance anyway. All right, they're running. Oop, we lost a guy. Crap. Well, what if we just uh, return fired? Got them both. Ha ha! We're going to move up. We're going to be in cover here. Can we catch these guys out in the open? Yeah, we can catch them out in the open. Aha! Eliminated. And we're moving across the field. Do I have two batteries? No. You'll have to charge one of the batteries, son. Don't, 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 don't be cussing at me. You should have been doing that. Yeah, my son's like, he's like, I need to use the batteries from the Sawzall. <laughs> All right, well, you can go do something else, boy. Oh, nice. All right, so we're going to try and get this building, move up quick, so we know there's someone in the woods. So we're going to loot these light machine gun guys there. Uh, can we suppress them? Actually, so we're going to go ahead and pop smoke. And use cover the building. Move this guy down. Can we fire? Nope, no line of sight. So we're going to move down two. And we're going to lay down some suppressing fire. No, no, I don't worry about my son. He's old enough. Plus, like I said, he's a, he's a twin. I have a spare. If he cuts off an arm, his brother will have an arm. So I'm not worried about it. All right. Now we're in the building. So now we can, oh, lucky hit and more suppression. And there's just one guy left. All right. Let's move up to this building. Yes, absolutely. That was very much a joke. My son knows that he to be careful. <laughs> hey, he turns 21 soon, so uh, 
that's going to be a fun time for him. He's going to learn to make mistakes. Yeah, hopefully he'll retain all his digits. All right, so these guys. So let's move up here. And we're still out of line of sight. So we're going to move up one more in cover. We're going to move, oh, well, I didn't mean to move there. I meant to move in the building. Okay, now we're in the building. Oh, the Furminator, no worries. Thanks. Uh, yeah, 21 years ago. As I like to tell my son, he was, uh, him and his brother were conceived in a Taco Bell. And his response silly was like, ah, that explains my love for Taco Bell. All right, so we're going to move up and just... You think we should throw grenades at these guys or just shoot them up? Probably just shoot them. Ooh. Ah, grenades. Much better stats. Got them. I like the little pictures. Nice, so we can see the enemy losses, turn eight. But like I said, this is just kind of a tutorial mission. These first three are. They just kind of give you the basics of how to play the game. And, and I'm running it mainly so people can see how to play the game and kind of what to expect. D-Day, oh, 0700 hours. The struggle for the beaches is underway. Specialized tanks are landing to help tackle the defensive emplacements and give the infantry a chance. Amongst them, centaurs of the newly formed Royal Marines Armored Support Group. Permara Pertaram. Yes. Yeah, do I? I do. I get tonks. Yep. A turret must be traversable and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't want to read it, but you guys, you can always pause the stream later and read it. I'm a helper. Woo! Look at these beautiful buildings. Oh, no, they, they got the destroyed tanks. Look at all these bombed out tanks and stuff. They got it. That's why they call it a beachhead. They had to sink enough tanks to make it last. Ooh, okay, so what do we got here? So one thing you can do is line of sight. So I can hit line of sight and I can see where this guy sees. See that? So if I know if I move my tank up in here, he's going to get hit in the side armor. And that is just uh, very unpleasant. So... What we're going to do is we're going to move up. Uh, move to fire. Yeah, let's try and pin these guys down. All right, well, I want to try and save my guys as much as possible, so let's pop some smoke. There you go. Let's see what it... Okay. Well, it's not going to help them much, but what we can do is this. 
aim turret. White phosphorus shell. Hmm. We'll just fire some HE. Nice, we eliminated him. All right, so that is, uh, I think that's under ending our turn now. Wait, someone has action still? Who? Oh, nice, we can move up more. All right, now we can end our turn. Oh, those poor boys on the beach. Oof. Ripperoni. Exactly, how can there be war crimes when there hasn't even been a war? All right, let's see, can we move two up? Can we grenade him? No. Grenade? No. Oh, too close for smoke. Ooh, nice. All right, so let's see, line of sight on this guy. Advance here. And see, his turret's still churned. Move, moving up. No grenade. Um, we're going to pop some smoke right there in front of him. I didn't mess with the sound. No, the game is, it's still fairly quiet. Um, let me look here. Um, actually I might've messed with the sound. Let's see, experimental canto off, graphics, audio. Let's trip the master volume a little bit. How about that? Let's try that. Yep, confirm. Oh, now you can barely hear me? I don't hear any music in the game, so I don't think you guys do either. Ah, oh, these jerks. Yeah, sometimes I talk really quiet, so, uh, and that's just my natural state. I'm usually not a very loud person. Uh, most people are like, oh, I didn't even know you were here today. Yeah, the game is pretty quiet. Like I said, this is still an alpha basically. Uh, so a lot of the uh, in-game sounds and music isn't there all the time. We got him. So yeah, if you're not hearing certain things. So one cool thing about this game I really like is it's a, this is a, I can't normally do it in this, in this campaign mission, but you see how it's empty. I could actually use, move my infantry in and actually take over their artillery piece. So if you flank behind the artillery piece and just shoot the infantry with light guns, you can run up and you can capture it and start using it against them, which I find absolutely hilarious. Orc slayers, yeah, lots of people, people. Ooh, can I occupy? Oh, I can. Ha ha, see, I occupied it. Ooh, see, that's where I was aiming. Um. 
Okay, well, I can't do anything because he is currently doing stuff. All right, aim turret. Let's look here, right there. Now let's fire some HE. There we go, eliminated those bad boys. Um, I think I played Silent Storm back in the early 2000s. Uh, yeah. Uh, this game is called The Troop. You can get it on Steam, and I, I do recommend it. Everything I've seen, it's kind of like I said, it's kind of like a World War II XCOM type game with infantry, tanks, uh, mortars, artillery pieces, all that fun stuff. And I say it's XCOM because quite often you'll sometimes see, like, you only have a 10% chance to hit, and then you kill everyone. And other times, 99% chance to hit, and you kill no one. Very XCOM-y. But still, a lot of fun. All right, so two things I can do. I can actually completely rotate my tank because uh, armor values matter in this, just like uh, other ones. So, and aim turret. We're going to aim at him. Let's fire white phosphorus. Uh, and if I'm right, all it does is basically smoke him out. But I'm covering these guys as infantry. Uh, because I don't want them dead. Uh, where can I aim? Can I aim at... What is this? Bailout crew. Actually, I don't think I have anything to hit with this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and bail him out. Uh, I was just kind of showing that you could do that. Um, we're going to go over here. I'm going to fan out and move to the left. And we're going to move them up more. Yeah, see? I knew there'd be more infantry in the backfield. Oh, no. See, I just saved these guys from extra deaths with that uh, happy fun time phosphorus. And the German tanks are absolutely deadly in this game. You know, just like, uh, you know, in the war. So sometimes those late model, like, Panthers and stuff can kill four or five Shermans if you're not careful, so. All right, we're going to move up, and we're going to put some suppressing fire on. Um, dang. All right, we're going to move up to staying low and lay some more suppressing fire. All right, now we're going to rotate the tank, aim the turret. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, and we're going to fire phosphorus in front of it to save our guys. There we go. Now we can advance with impunity. Aha! Jerk. No! Billy! They killed Billy! He had so many wiener schnitzels ahead of him. M, medium, large. I don't remember what those do. Ah, so they're going to move up and probably grenade him. At least I hope they will. Yes, pistol, XCOM, Urkershaw, har, har, har. Hmm. All right, we're going to aim at him and fire. Ooh, yeah, we hurt those guys bad. Gonna keep up the fire. Get in this bunker. Give him some fire. Get in this building.
All right, now we wait another turn. Haha, we have cover now. Run, you big chickens. No, get in the... Okay, good. I was about to get mad. I was like, get in the building! <laughs> Those poor fools. Yeah, see, tanks are just so, so nasty. All right, so they're pretty heavily suppressed, so they're not going to be able to do much. Like, their chances to hit are get really low. Yeah, they didn't even hit anybody, which is good. Hmm, where are they going? All right, we're going to move up again, get a little closer. More suppression. Mm, I don't want to go four. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to advance now we can aim our turret and now we can fire more suppression that's okay we're dialed in now so next turn if they're still there they are dead so this one guy he, we have one guy over here so hopefully he'll run into them and get and get ki All right, moving up the beach. They're fighting their way to the through the buildings. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and finish this guy off. <laughs> Got him. All right, so we're gonna move up, move up into this building. We're gonna move this way. These guys are gonna move over here. Got to use these buildings as cover for line of sight because you will get aced really bad. Yeah, see? Getting caught out in the open by even just one guy can really kill a lot of people. There's our AI. Nice. The one on one match, he killed the other one. <laughs> All right, we're going to advance here. Take down this barbed wire, because why not? Um, you. Pop some smoke here, because if you get inside the smoke, you can uh, prevent uh, getting so much damage. Yeah, because I don't want these guys getting a, a nice good field of fire on me. I'll just ruin my day. Get in that building. And move up. That should be good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, confirm.
He's surrounded by AI, so I don't know what he's going to do. Moving on up. Ugh. We'll move a little closer. Line of sight. Can I see him? Okay, good. Next round we can see him. And let's see if I can get these guys in here. Okay, good. They won't get seen. We get seen if I go there. Nope. Okay. Move up one more space. So moving through the house takes two hexes of movement. So I'm only going to go two because I want to stay prone. I want to stay low. And end a turn. All right, now it's time to kill this last group of guys. Yeah, a single tank can really uh, ruin people's day. And there we go. That's why the music blasts. <laughs> In the menus, it's like, oh, music, hello. And the game, not so much. So you'll be like playing and all of a sudden, kaboom, loud noises. Which is okay. D-Day, midday. With the initial beach landing, successful British forces move onto the fields beyond. In the lead, a reconnaissance troop of honey light tanks keep a lookout for the enemy. Fire and maneuver. You can tell it's British because they put extra use in it. Uh, Noel Trexorn, yes, the AI will quit once you start really beating the tar out of them. They will absolutely call the game. Like they don't fight to the death. Oh, Stug. Don't. Hey, that's not fair. I didn't get a chance. What a load of horse shit. Yeah, no shit. Where was he? Right there? Okay, okay. So we're gonna move in. Move quick. So moving fast does give you a, a bonus. And as you see, these ones have whole mounted machine guns. Uh, okay. And you definitely, in this game, you do not, do not <laughs> keep still in front of a stug. These things will just absolutely wreck your tanks. All right, now I gotta hope and pray that I moved enough. Ooh, whiff. Those guys have uh, some nice. Yeah, I'm trying to flank, but I'm shitting my pants here. Right, let's see, line of sight there. Okay, so if I advance here, I have a decent shot at his side armor. Wait, what? But I didn't. Oh, Shaz bot. Advance. So you're going to go quickly this way, go down the road.
uh, you're going to... Oh. Advance. I'm going to force him to keep trying to churn. All right, let's see what happens. Bob and weave, Bob and weave, don't. No. Oh, <laughs> these poor guys. They're just shitting their pants in there. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, uh, aim. He has his hatches open. This is probably a really bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Haha! Yeah, he moved pretty quick, so uh, I didn't think I'd hit him. But it was worth a shot anyway. All right, can you... Move really fast. Yeah, definitely. The Hetzer... I think they have Hetzers in this game, too. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've played... Oh, no, 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 don't do it. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, what kind of bull crap is that? Just pummel him. No. <laughs> okay. Uh... Ooh, we got to keep moving. All right, we're going to blitz past him. Because it's going to take him a lot to turn. Oh, crap. Um, aim your turret there. You got a perfect shot at his ass. Can we do it? 60% XCOM, let's do it! Oh yeah! Rear hit, suppression. Alright, since he's suppressed, he can't fire back. So we're just gonna move right up and just see if we can... <laughs> execute him. Pull or tracks? Let's try and immobilize him. Excellent. Um, oh, what is that? 90%? Balderdash. All right, well, he's uh, he's stunned, so he's not going anywhere for a round. All right, so if you aimed at a spot for more than one turn, you get something called accurate aim, which means you're pretty much 100% to hit. So since everyone has accurate aim... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the, the shots I know, which aren't going to con uh, probably kill him. Uh, aim for the hull. There we go. There's a kill. Executed. I call bullshit on those losses because technically I had no option on that. All right, so here's the option. We can continue on as the English or we can play some German. What do you guys think? I normally play as Germans, but uh, let's see, uh, settings, audio, uh, music volume, down, down, down boy.
All right. So should we continue on as the British or should we play as the Germans? You guys, someone tell me. Because I've played both and I've uh, there's only a few uh, missions I haven't played as well. Why, thank you, the Night Owl. You gave a uh, tier one sub to the Pretzel Bomb. That's your 286th gift sub in this channel. That is absolutely crazy. All right, Germans it is. I heard people say Germans. Yeah, funny you should say taking things apart with a wrench. You can actually repair tanks. So if they bail out, you can send your own crews in there and take over their tanks. I have successfully taken over an English uh, with English uh, a Tiger tank and turned it against the enemy. <laughs> with significant forces now ashore, British tanks and infantry begin to push south. They meet fierce resistance from the enemy, intent upon delaying them until the Panzer divisions arrive. Crossroads. Yavol. Alright, what do we got here? That's a Sherman. Um, a Sherman 75. It's not a Firefly, I can tell. Another Sherman. Uh, time to hydrate. We'll do. There's a Stuart. Yeah, they, they had no idea how to deal with that tank. Oh, infantry. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Okay, what options do I have? Let's look at this guy. Where can we aim? All right, so we're going to take out the Stuart because uh, I don't like it. It offends. Oof, head on. Suppression. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not going anywhere for a turn. It's pretty badly messed up. Okay. So I have some uh, Panzer Shreks. How close can I get? Let's move up two. Like I said, if you only move two, you still stay prone. My Panzer Shrek uh, should be able to hit this uh, the Sherman. What do I else do I have? Okay. Ooh, I have a Stug here. Where do I want the Stug? All right, let's move him here. He's still hidden. Let's look at my line of sight. So if I aim, rotate my stug this way. Let's aim for right here. Yeah, confirm, that's okay. We're planning so if they uh, if they go back here, we can really hit them. But I'm gonna leave them there for now. Who do we got here? All right, well, I'm gonna move you guys over here. Get in these woods. Who are these guys? What do they have? Grenades. Oof. Yeah, let's let's move over here. I want to get in these woods and try and get up here. All right, and some of this is just uh, yeah, confirm. We're waiting for the enemy to get closer so we can ambush them. Heckman Sten, good evening. We are happy you are here. I'm happy you're here. Uh. He's flanking. 
No, no, no. <laughs> All right. The Stewart's back online. Ooh, track vehicle with infantry. That's not good. It's not good at all. All right, uh, line of sight. Who else can see us? No one. Okay. Uh, we're gonna aim for the hull because I just want to pierce this guy dead. Nice, knocked out that guy. But now we have a quandary. Can't hit their grenade. So we're gonna throw some grenades at this Sherman. Yeah, oh, cause they're seen, they're no longer invisible. Well, that sucked, but also to be expected. Ooh. All right, so he is aiming at over here. Let's give him a reason to think twice. Oh, we hit him in the front. He has his uh, hatches open too, so that gave him a good amount of stun. Can I hit him? What a 44%, 28%. Uh. Move up one. Nothing. All right, well, hopefully that'll get his attention drawn and the tank will come up. Well, they're stuck there. Get him here. Still invisible. Okay, good. These guys, who can we hit? We hit him, hit no. Potentially we could kill some of these guys with the hatches open, but I'm gonna wait for that ambush to get a little better. Minimal. All right, confirm. We'll wait for him to get a little closer. Oh, my poor infantry in that house. Gonna return fire. Bring it on. Whiffle bat. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Oh, dickweed. All right. We need to think of a power play here. All right, he's going through. Oh, look at that. He's giving him cover. What kind of bullshit is that? All right. All right. Yeah. We don't have very good shot, so but we're going to have to take it. We attempted. I can at least wipe out these guys. 64% will take it. Shit. <laughs> Can we hit him? Yeah, hit him again. 84%. Yeah. Turret hit. No effect. Well, I'm going to catch these guys out in the open. Catch these guys out in the open. Move them up so we can get the flank. So if they try to come up here, we can then 
hit him in the side. Uh, who do we got left? Who has not moved? You. You have any shots? It would be just really small. Yeah, we're going to try. We, we need the... Nice, that was actually pretty effectual. Two guys down. All right. Now let's see what happens. Ugh. That's right, run away, you Yankee Doodle Dandy, you tea sipper. Oh, the crew bailed out. Ow. Oh, that hurt really bad. That poor artillery piece. All right, well, good thing I'm pre-aimed. And we're going to take the shot. I didn't think he was going to hit, but, you know, that's really all he had. But these guys, we can wipe out these guys. Throw some grenades at these guys in hopes. Okay, I'm going to keep them in ambush there for now. Those guys are closer. Ugh. I'm going to move these guys deeper into the woods. Um, I might get another shot at them. We'll see. Um, keep some shots going downrange. Oh, lucky hit. See, you never know when someone's going to catch a shell. Uh, I am going to try and take out that, uh, that tank. If I can knock it out, that would be really nice. One, two, all right. Well, they're still alive, and that's what matters. That means they're still in this fight. They're determined to cross that field. All right, moving up on these guys in the house, which are valiantly holding this building. Yeah, the AI, he did. He totally bailed out. Uh, they bailed out of this tank up here. Okay, what is he doing? So you can actually uh, capture bailed out tanks and repair them with your own guys. Diggs, what are you going to do for the birth? Um, 
Well, it's your birthday, so you can cry if you want to. Uh, but I would be really happy, and I think it would be hilarious if you just uh, made, uh, like, you and, like, Zenith, like, drew with crayons on random things. And make her sing happy birthday to you because it's your birthday and you can make her cry if you want to. But in a nice way. All right. Bake a cake. Yeah, you could bake a cake. Eliminated. Well, I'm going to keep these guys here as a... As a I want them to set, uh, ambush them. That Sherman is really deep in there. We're going to try and flush him out. Nice, you're getting flowers sent to you? That's awesome. Well, we're going to try and run. It was worth a shot. And flowers is more than I usually get for my birthday. Then again, I ask literally for nothing for my birthday because what happens is is people want to do stuff for my birthday and they expect me to have fun. I'm not a terribly excitable person. And so what usually ends up happening is other people are dis disappointed for me because I didn't want anything for my birthday. And so my birthday then becomes a big issue because I evidently didn't have fun for my birthday when really all I wanted to do was be left alone, but everyone else wanted to do stuff for my birthday. So I always dread my birthdays when really the best thing you could do is just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm usually like Gollum, who just wants to, you know, be alone with his precious. Yes, precious. Good. What? What does titles? So, yeah. Uh, aim. No. Um, line of sight. Pachow. Oh. Advance. Up one. Aim. Fire! Oh, Shazbot. Um, we'll move up a little bit. Can you hit him? Yes, hit him. No. Crap. S still crap. Charge the tank. Oh, nice. They're sending you a stripper gram. So lucky. Grenades. Right into your truck. Jerks. This poor guy in the field. I feel so bad for him. I do feel really bad about shooting that guy. Hop over the hedgerow and we go. Can I grenade? Can I fire? Okay, we'll get, we'll try and be stealthy with these guys. 
Um, get these guys. Eliminated! Jackbox party. Yeah, we do Jackbox party all the time. Usually in the nude. It's like, woo, because no one can do that. No! Who would have known putting them in the open would have got them killed? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. We can show them the power of fully operational people, people. This one guy operating this artillery piece against the Sherman. Yeah, his pants are so brown. Yeah, the Night Owl, there's a lot of games we can play, I'm sure. So we'll we'll get something figured out. Maybe we'll do something, I don't know. Diggs, what if we all like gray tided a uh <laughs> a Space Station thirteen server and did uh all the uh different versions of Randolph P checkers? Ooh, hundred percent, let's see what happens. Just drop a grenade right inside there. Oh, <laughs> those poor guys. All right, see, they ran out of morale, so they ran away. Wow, that's... I usually don't do so well. All right, so crossroads done. Here they come. A chess match tournament. Now you're speaking Diggs' language. Like, if you've ever wondered what a savage mauling from a grizzly bear looks like, it's play Diggs' uh, chess, and you'll see. D-Day, 1630 hours. The only panzer divisions available send its tanks to drive the invaders back into the sea. But the British in their path are ready. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the AI may not seem very good, but I have played a lot of this. And the first times I played this, I got my ass kicked hard. I kind of know where to set up and everything, so, uh, and I kind of know where they're going to spawn. But uh, if you've never played this, I guarantee uh, you're going to feel the pain. All right. Oh, look, I have a Panzer Vor. And of course, they had the side skirts. Spaced armor all the way around. Very good, very good. I'm going to move this one up. And I move these two tanks up this way. Well, he's been spotted. I don't know what sees him. He's spotted. He's invisible. He's invisible. Uh, yeah, the icon still shows uh, a Sherman. Like I said, it's still alpha. I think it's just a generic, insert generic tank template. This is where I can get my ass kicked on this one. Because they're the ones laying in ambush now, and I have to confront them. I have no infantry support, by the way. And if I remember right, they have at least three Shermans. Okay, we're fully spotted. We're going to flank around this and come up here. I don't want to continue up this road. So I'm going to move up this way. Try and cross this field here. All right, ending turn. See what happens. There's that Sherman. Ah, oh, ambush mother trucker. Ooh, frontal hit. Deflection. Ba-ding! 
Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for him now because now my guys are looking right at him. Fire! Oh. Good hit. Aiming right there. 15%. So that can cause a little bit of suppression, so that's why I'll sometimes do that. I didn't expect that to hit, but he's going to be aimed in for next round. Let's keep moving up towards this hedgerow. Gosh, I think they have a wolverine. So they have, a Sher they have two Shermans and a wolverine. They might even have a Hellcat. I think it's a Wolverine, though. Uh, I'll try to schedule text in them. This weekend is jam-packed. Next week should be the Pondstrad. After that, probably. Oh, yeah, the Pondstrad. Them and their pastries. Oh, nice. I get reinforcements. I forgot. Ha, see, the crew bailed out. Nerds! Well, I'm just going to blitz up. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out this tank. I do not like it. I don't want them repairing it. If they repair it, they could bring it back online. Okay, tank eliminated. Yeah, it's kind of like bolt action. That is a great, great way to explain this game. Uh, I wish I had actually gotten into bolt action, but since being in Alaska, uh, that pretty much means I would have to buy everything and teach people how to play, and like they'd all play once, and then uh, all like two people, and that's it. That would be it for forever. Oh shit! What do we got? Uh, yep, it's a Wolverine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Those things are pretty good arm, uh, pretty well armored, and can hit like a truck. So, uh, oh man, he's in a good flank spot too. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Oh shit. I knew there was another Sherman there. Oh yeah, he had a, look at that. Oh, side hit. All right, what can I do with this guy? Um, all right, let's look at line of sight. What can you see? Okay. Well, I'm going to advance him because he had, his main gun is knocked out, but I can at least draw fire. So these guys, can you aim? Nope. Advance. Let's see if we can get their attention. Rotate. Let's keep moving up. There might even be another Wolverine out here somewhere. Let's see if I can hit him on the side of the turret with a nice slap. Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, Rob gets a absolutely beautiful tattoo. He was feeling a little guilty about it the other day, uh, earlier today, but I kindly let him know that I would much rather he got a tattoo than if I were to receive like a life-saving medical uh, uh, per, uh, procedure. So, most likely. All right, let's slap this. Uh... Oh, lucky hit. Side hit. 
Just got a shocking arm. All right, crew bailed out. Oop, there's another one. Another Sherman. Oh, 100% suppression. Crew bail out. All right, so this is where the whole mounted machine guns become nice. Um, aim turret at that. Fire. The Pinto mounted machine guns and HE. All right, so him, I'm going to go ahead and repair, confirm, repair. So he's at least to turn out before anyone being able to hit him. Okay, and you're you're just stuck. Poor, poor, poor bastard. All right, let's take out... Uh, we can slap it in the side of the turret. There we go. Yeah, critical knockout. They're not going to be repairing that tank. Uh, correct, it is Blitzkrieg. You're, you're absolutely right. And thankfully I have my delicious powder powder mixed in with my drink. Ah, uh, yes. For any good Blitzkrieg in you. Well, this pretty guy, this guy's pretty much fucked. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Let's just pray his armor holds. Because he's going to get accurate aim now. Oh, one death. Two death. Ugh. So what I should probably do is bail out the crew. And go from there. So we're going to try and uh, flank this bad boy. Well, honestly, if you want to know some interesting Blitzkrieg uh, information is that for the most part, the German mechanized army wasn't mechanized. The vast majority of the German army was still drawn by horse and cart, even during uh, early and late parts of the war. They hadn't fully modernized to a, an entire uh, uh, mechanized military. One of the big interesting things is, if you ever look at old World War II pictures and films, you'll notice there's dead fucking horses everywhere. Why? Because all their supply lines were drawn by frickin' horses. They didn't get a chance to modernize because everything was so fucking expensive and they had a hard time getting a hold of resources because of the war. Who are you firing at? Oh, him. Oh, shit. There's that other Wolverine. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, right in the face. Yeah, that's what I... Gonna move up. Oh, I don't want to advance yet. All right, well, he's been repaired, so we're gonna flip a shit hook and head this way. All right, so now we can get back in our tank. <laughs> now that he's not looking at us. We're going to try and engage this Wolverine. Oh, I know we have low chance. All right, can we use... All right. Oh shit.
Hope those guys don't have grenades. All right. Yeah, that's all I can do. Exactly. Allied air power was absolutely crazy and scary. Oh, that poor tank. Another interesting uh, fact about World War II is one of the greatest uh, tank a or plane uh, pilot aces in World War II was uh, German. He fought in North Africa. He had something like over what was it? Over 300 confirmed kills. The problem was is that how he died. He died due to a malfunction in equipment because they had faulty uh, repairing. Imagine that, just, uh... Oh, yeah, let's get out this Wolverine out of the way. Yes, side armor. So yeah, because of the mechanical failure, you know, it killed the ace pilot. A lot of people don't talk about it because, well, he was German. Rotate. Aim turret. Nope. Aim turret. There. At his butt. And fire. Oh, right in the yank. Oh, he's still in the game, huh? Um, yeah, why don't you repair? Let's rotate them. We're going to go up here. Yeah, the thing was, is he was just there. They did not have the cover that the uh, the fighter cover in North Africa. So he was fighting out of out of Italy in North Africa. Uh, they just didn't have the. The training necessary to defeat those. Uh, you know, those numbers. So usually they just try to overwhelm their targets with just sheer mass amounts of numbers. Yep, side armor. We're going to slap it right in the side. Ow. On his part. Yeah, there is all sorts of interesting uh, World War II uh, factoids that a lot of people don't know about because, well, one, you know, no one wants to talk about how the war went. Um, fire. The hull. Which is understandable. I mean, like, if you think about it, like, you don't ever want to hear about the, uh, you know, your people's losses, you know. You never hear about the the, the losing sides, heroes, and everything. A lot of them aren't necessarily heroes. I mean, a lot of them are just they're fighting for their country. You know, with, and that's just unfortunately how wars are. No one wins in wars. You know, did he think he was doing the right thing? I'm sure at one point he was, but as everyone says in war, it's just like eventually it's going to happen. Is you'll be like, well, this is shit, but I don't really have much of a choice. Exactly. Like the nukes, uh, did they need to happen? It's hard to say. You know, uh, like the firebombing of Tokyo killed way more people than uh, the actual nukes did. Okay, well, I'll repair some stuff then. One interesting thing is if you see I keep firing there, it, it'll actually, they'll eventually get built up in smoke and you can't shoot them anymore. 
All right, we're going to hit this guy in the hole again. Nice. 100% suppression. That's true. The amount of interesting World War II super weapons the Germans tried to uh, make is just astounding. Uh, one of my favorites is in France, they had built uh, extreme long range artillery fixed. They're fixed into the banks uh, and they were literally only designed to fire at London. And they would fire these five pound projectiles from France all the way to London. And they were actually only days, literally days, before finishing these up to be able to start firing. Uh, and then, of course, D-Day happened, and that put a stop to it. They also bombed the shit out of it beforehand because they didn't know what it was. All the Allies saw was like, well, the Germans are building shit into this, in this, in this bunker right here. So let's just bomb it because our boys will be there momentarily. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think, you know, it was a show of force. The nukes were a show of force to everyone, not just the Japanese. This poor guy. This was not the threesome he wanted. Yeah, exactly. They could have covered the whole island on napalm, but... Ah, uh, yes, thank you, posture check. I was uh, slowly turning into a pretzel, so... Um, oh, we'll go ahead and fire again. We're going to slap the turret this time. pa -dang! Tank knocked out. All right. Oh, you want me to crack my back? Oh. oh, yeah, sounds like Rice Krispie Street. All right, so we won that. So we are at Unwelcome Guests. Yeah, fun fact about flamethrowers. They don't count as firearms, so they're perfectly legal. Absolutely. I, I do firmly believe that the nukes were a show of force to the Russians as well. That's saying, hey, guess what? We have the bomb. The British Air Force have landed in early hours of D-Day and have finally received reinforcements. Now they too must cling to their positions in the face of a panzer division determined to dislodge them. Unwelcome guests. Yeah, my, uh, my back has some permanent damage from... Uh, uh, Viking reenactment. All right, what the hell do I have here? Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. All carrying infantry. This has some brat brats. And what that is when it shoots, it goes brat brat brat. More. Uh huh. Okay. And this little thing. All right. So let's look at our, our objective. So we have to take up here, which means there's going to be stuff here. There's obviously here. Red means you're directly occupying it. Oh, wow. They changed this map. I don't remember it. All right. So. What do you think? <laughs> you think there's anybody in here? No, why would that be full of infantry? Oh wait, no, close your hatch, you dum-dum. 
Oh well. We're going to move these guys up. We're going to move these guys up. Move them up. Um, let's go this way, because we're going to cut through here, head to this woods. There we go. Go fast, eat ass. Burn. Just hatches open, just blitzing past everyone. Go on, we dare you to shoot at us. Haha, we caught you with your dicks out. I do enjoy this game quite a bit. Um, I bought it because I expect this game to be a lot better. Because right now it's just mentions, but I have a, I firmly believe that there's going to be custom maps, multiplayer, all that other stuff. So far, I give it very high marks because I think it's it's absolute blast. It does what no one in the other genre right now is really doing. Uh, you know, it gives you that squad based, you know, real timey uh, World War II action that many people just aren't doing at the moment. So I absolutely love it. Ah, uh, yes, the good old Foxy run fast, eat ass. That's just kind of our Battletech mantra, by the way. All right, so this guy... Uh, well, first of all, close those hatches. Aim turret. Oh shit. Uh let's rotate. <laughs> Alright, let's move here. We have a pintle machine gun. We can use that. Put some suppression down. Cut across this field. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into these woods and we're going to dismount these soldiers into the woods. And we're going to continue on. I'm going to move these guys over here because I want to get a look at this building. Okay, so no one sees these guys, which means there isn't anyone in these woods. Nice. All right, well, let's see what happens. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, my Leben. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a Tetrarch? Well, there goes my big guns. <sighs> yeah, like I said, the, the AI might seem dumb at times, but uh, he can punish you when you're doing the dumb. And evidently I have done much dumb. So let's move up. Uh, reverse, then get in there. Yeah, that's kind of how the Maginot line was supposed to work.
Ugh. All right. Oh, shit. Let's use our speed. Don't worry, we got this, boys. Sneaky through the woods. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go that far. Oops. Well, hopefully they won't die. Haha, -ha, going fast. It saves lives. Yeah, I think. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Who knew at this point that going fast would not save lives? Oh, I've made some mistakes. Ah, I knew there was an ambush here somewhere. And there is nothing wrong with wanting me to lose. Don't feel bad. <laughs> All right, let's get back in the woods. All right, can we aim at him? We can. All right. Are you kidding me? Okay. We're going to advance here. We're going to advance Ooh. right there. Aim. All right, so he got a big gun on there, which will do something. Dismount. All right, hydration time. Let's take a look. What do we got here? Yeah, it looks like a tetrarch is what it looks like. Dismount them, get them into cover. All right, and turn. Yeah, we very well, well may lose this one, but that's okay. I mean, that's this half the fun. Oh. Mistakes have been made. All right, good. He used grenades. Yeah, like I said, the AI can be dumb, but it can also, when it gets you in a spot it's gonna take advantage of you bad so all right do I have anything oh, spang all right 
So what we're going to do try and take out that artillery piece because it is just tearing us apart. Uh, dismount them. Ugh. Let's move up here. All right. Now I can fire at this position. And I cleared him out. Good. Put some more fire down on these guys. Suppress them. Some suppression. Move these guys up. Everyone moved. Can I advance them some? We're going to advance them some. Okay. All right, my morale is four. It's not the best. We can still turn this around. Or not. <laughs> you know, the great thing about playing the Germans in these games is uh, win or lose, you still get to see a lot of really cool... Uh, destruction. This poor one man in this field is just, he's just like getting sprayed with bullets left and right and he doesn't even know what's going on. Some fire on him. So I'm going to move right up to this building and I'm going to dump the troops right inside, which is what I was afraid of, but that's okay. Uh, rotate. Put some suppression down. He fired. He fired. Yeah, I've definitely played a lot of World War II strategy games through the years, so all of it fun. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to put some fire on this. Yeah, keep it suppressed. Oh, all right, great. I got some damage on that uh, AT gun. I'm going to move him here. All right, and turn. Hopefully he's going to throw some grenades. Yeah. Okay. Oof. All right. The Tetrarch's moving. Oh. What a dick move. Oh man, this is a slugfest. I love it. Throw some grenade.
Oh shit. Oh, there's an AT team in there. Let's uh, flip him around, see if we can get some fire on these guys. That's about all he can do, really, is he's stuck there, immobilized. Well, keep putting some shots down range. All right, great. We can actually cleared out them, so we can actually move up now. Some shots down range. And advance. Yeah, I, I hoped, I really wish in this game they might add, oh, damn. They might add like a uh, artillery strikes maybe or they might add like calling in air support for things i don't know there's all sorts of cool oh didn't want that to happen yeah that one tetra can ruin my day so oh no miss <laughs> Yeah, that guy's stuck there eternally until I can clear. Excellent. Okay, cleared them out. move oh didn't want to move him I want to move him um, oh well not the end of the world pintle mounted more machine gun fire that AT team is really what I'm worried about I'm hoping really just for some lucky hits on the AT gun. All right, let's see what happens. I can see that bully snake. I mean, mainly I just want to see like all sorts of, of oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, you. All right, they won. We got our asses handed to us pretty bad. Yeah, look at those infantry. Like I said, you know, it can happen. So, but I'm gonna continue on with the next mission. I'm gonna count that as, uh, you know, a loss for us. But that was cool. I'm perfectly okay with taking losses. I think that's half the fun in some of these games is, you know, getting the tar kicked out of you. And it's been long enough to where I don't remember every single area like that mission. I know, seriously. I had, uh, in one time, I had one of those guys uh, take out, like, I think it was that same mission I was playing the British, and I took out, like, three or four of those things and won the day. Force opening and penetrating the... No further! I do like the artwork. Oh, okay, so this is where you can actually start uh, placing your vehicles. And so it kind of gives you a general view of where they're going to be put. So let's see, I have a Flak 88. All right, 
Nice. He has a big gun. The S307. A veteran HQ squad. It's a good spot for him. Panzer Shrek team. Light machine guns. Light machine guns. Light machine guns. And light machine guns. So I want to relocate... see here. I think right here is a good spot. Let's look at line of sight. Gives me a pretty commanding view of this area and it'll cover this flank a bit. Uh, we're going to rotate it slightly. There we go. And this bad boy line of sight you know I don't mind him right there he can definitely keep it uh, nice and tight over here as for this Panzer Shrek team I kind of want them over here actually let's let's relocate you over here put the light machine gun crew over here on this side Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Mr. Calzone02, welcome, welcome. Happy to see you here. Yeah, this game is definitely tough, but it is a lot of fun. Like I said, it's like XCOM World War II, so uh, we're going to end deployment. Some infantry moving up. <clears throat> Oxygen Gamey, welcome. Thank you for the tier one subscription. We got a Sherman over here. Moving on in. A half track. Hmm. <laughs> And that's all we can see. Aim. Can we aim at anything? Well, let us aim. I don't know. We're going to aim right there. See if he comes up here. Who knows what will happen. Minimal, minimal. We're going to have to wait till these guys get closer. Let's wait till we get closer before we spring the trap. Well, we always you appreciate you swinging by. You know, we you know feel free to come and hang out and chat and lurk and you know take a look at the auxiliary and be a part of the you know the group. All right, they're moving up. They're going to come up through this forest. Bully Snake, you're welcome, and we appreciate you coming here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, that tank. Look at this dickweed trying to come in the flank. Can I hit him? No. I definitely want to get as many shots off as I can at these guys trying to cross this field. That's that's fine. They're pretty overextended, so that's really all right. Good. That's really about all I can do at the moment. Hmm. No, I don't want to shoot at them. I want to here. aim. Aim like right there. All right, now we wait. Yep, 
These guys are moving towards my veteran HQ unit. Ah, oh, son of a bread biscuit. Mortars. Mortars really suck when you don't have counter mortars. Because they can just dial in on your position and really pound your guys to, gr to the ground. If I hello, Mr. Sherman, I hope you've come to pay your respects. Oh, another Sherman. Ugh, no. Uh. Oh, will he fall into the trap? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Almost exactly where I was aiming to. So just to be a minor adjustment. Man, I bet that guy's shit in his pants right now. He comes around the corner and sees me. And he's like, oh, no. Howdy there. Oh, shit. Well. I'll take some machine gun fire. Keep them there. Yeah, let's take out their HQ, guys. Lucky hit, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to aim there. Yep, confirm. All right, let's see what happens now. Try and keep him at a distance. Oh, I guess I should have retreated these. No, they need to keep getting shots. Darth Cavalier, thank you for the subscription. Oh, this poor H. Oh. Took a lucky hit. Well, that's the great thing about the game is it can work both ways. These poor guys. Yeah, I'm going to move them back one. Ugh. They're going to try and cross the field. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can get a tank kill with this 88. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Man, those German 88s are great. All right, so we're going to move them over one. So you can't get line of fire on me. Take out this HQ unit. Nice. Move these guys over one so they can't get shot anymore. If I can get these guys eliminated, yes. Excellent. Boom. See, defending is a lot easier, obviously. See, I'm just tearing these guys up. You know, when, when I, they were defending, they kicked my ass. And that's okay. I mean, that's half the fun. I don't mind getting put in impossible situations in games. Because, you know, when you win, that's just all the sweeter.
it would be kind of fun to be able to name your units and stuff, kind of like XCOM. Yeah, that's one thing. As soon as you expose your artillery, their fucking mortars are going to be dropping hate on them left and right. Now this area is contested because of these guys. Who do you have a shot on? Really? Really? Okay, well. If you can shoot at me, that means I can shoot back. And have a 2% sh chance to shit. Well, I was hoping for an XCOM moment, but oh well. There you go. Get them caught between two groups. Hmm. Let's go. Who is this? So I think what I want to do, though, is I want to relocate. I need to contest with this, the Sherman over here. I don't want to give up that shot yet. OK. Wait, what about these guys? All right. Who else? Can they? Well, why not? Just give them some angry bees to deal with. All right, no. Don't do it. Okay. Ouch. Eliminated. Come on. I need this 88 to stay in the fight. Oh. Okay, good. It was a miss. A little bit of suppression. But now we have um, God, a minimal chance. What is that? Have to give it a shot, you know. You're still there. Okay, you guys. If you can just eliminate those guys, that'd be really helpful right now. Okay, move them in there. All right. See if we can get into this building. We might be able to get a long shot on that. I don't know. Who else? Okay, you. I'm gonna keep them there. I wanna I wanna keep them. It is true, Darth Cavalier does keep uh, our wheels well-oiled and lubricated. And other things lubricated. Ugh. My poor 88. Leave it alone. What is it oh, done to you?
All right, I got one unit left in that. Yeah, that one guy just eliminated them. Excellent. Well, let's aim in this direction. Well, let's pop smoke. And then move over here. Move him. All right, he has line of sight on that tank. I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but we'll see. Keep them there. Um, line of sight right here. Well, hopefully this won't end spectacularly bad. Mm. Okay, that's good. These guys are moving up on us. <sighs> See, what do I mean? Bullshit. It's not like I can just move my artillery. Oh, come on. What is that garbage? What are you made of? Paper mache? Oh, <laughs> critical knockout. Yeah, I should have kept it in more, uh, yeah, my big, yeah, you think? Maybe a lucky shot. Nope. All right, well, I'm just going to turtle up, make them come to me. Aww. Well, we lost that one. It was close. That's okay. All right. These mad young men. Let's see what type of crazy stuff we can get into on this one. And like I said, losing is half the fun. I'm perfectly okay with losing. Ah, Canadians. Welcome, Canadians. We have Wiener Schnitzel for you. Encounter with the SS. Mad young men. Alright, what do we got? A Panzer Vor. Panzer Vor. Another one. And another. Pack 75.
Holy cow. Okay, uh, relocate. We're going to relocate these guys. Oh, you're fine there. Uh, relocate. So what I want to do is one fantastic thing about infantry is they can ride on tanks. Uh, why don't you there? There. There. Is that a... Uh... Okay. End deployment. I have a lot of ground to cover. See what he got, a Sherman. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm working on. Mount up on the tank. Advance. Get to the road. Mount. And advance. Yep, pack up. That is a terrible spot for these guys. Mount up. And advance. We're going to move these guys up to the inner village here. Work our way there. Mount this and advance. We're going to advance along the main roads since we can really make some distance up here. All right, what type of line of sight? Nope. Let's try and get in that building. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I think I'm going to wait one turn to see if I can get that tank a little closer. Before I give away that position. Okay. There he goes. Tonk moving up. Oh, half track. With an AT crew. Another half track. Ah, uh, you jerk. All right, we got to take the chance. That was a shit chance. <sighs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. We're going to move these tanks up yet again. These guys can occupy this building. Yeah, I need to get these guys up here as quickly as possible. OK. 
Okay, who has not moved? You. Alright, well, they're crap. They've been spotted. Well, I mean, we might as well take some lucky shots. Who knows? Alright, maybe an ambush here. Alright, let's see how our luck holds out. I don't know how lucky we're going to get. Ah, uh, see? Frickin' mortars. Mortars are the bane. As soon as your artillery becomes uh, visible, they just start pounding it to death. So you get, like, one good shot with your uh, artillery or your uh, anti-tank guns, and then... You missed your XCOM shot, and now... Oh. Okay. Just a little suppression. We might be able to still pull off a kill. Two Shermans. Another half track. They have a lot of mechanized units. If I can kill an AT gun, that would be really nice. Okay. All right, that AT gun is dead, or that, uh, all right. Yes! Hit. But did I sink the battleship? Keep him there. Keep him there. Yep, Schnell, move up. Oh, actually, let's advance him up. Okay. See if we can hit him with a hole mounted. Some suppression, maybe. Lucky shot. Yes! Critical knockout. That's what we needed. Now we can continue and push up. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, well, I have this Panzer IV here to counteract that Sherman. We'll keep those guys there. All right, next turn. So far, this is looking dicey. Took kill the half track, and I have damaged one of their tanks. Now here comes their mortar with the lucky shot to kill my entire AT crew. Ugh, thankful. They're moving in. That's a, that's a firefly. Yeah, you can tell by that. Really? From that distance? <sighs> that little gap right there. So I have to content. Oh, it's a Stuart. Okay, good, good. All right, so if I pull my tank back here, first of all, let us move you up. 
see how bad things are here. Okay, pretty bad. Did they bail out of that, I wonder? I have to... I have to try and knock that tank out. We're going to keep moving up. We're going to move up and engage these tanks over here. I'm going to pull these guys back. Okay. Get you in the building. Keep moving up. Keep him there. We move there, what can hit us? Okay. Let's move there. All right, ending churn. Let's see what hot garbage takes us out. This wall of infantry coming up is slowly coming up to this courtyard. It's gonna be, it's gonna be ugly. I'm not gonna lie. And they have these fucking tanks in the backfield. So many infantry. Here comes the firefly. All right. Oh. Really? Hmm. Okay, well. I guess we need to... We need to try and take out that tank. Who are you? Excuse me? Excuse me. A Stuart? A Stuart did that to my Panzer IV. A Stuart. Uh, okay. I guess the steward can can didn't do that. <sighs> because why not? Uh well, it kind of feels like uh not good. Not good. <laughs> you jerks. Okay, well, let's dismount them. Wait, what? You... Uh, let's reverse there. Let's start repairs. Hmm. 
No, I do not want to dismount those guys right there. If I can drop them off and dismount these infantry in there, I can then advance one more. Move up slowly. Okay, wow. Okay. A Greyhound took out a Tiger too. Yeah, I, uh, okay. So far, it's not looking good. Still, that Stuart, frontal armor of Panzer IV, should be able to just shrug off what that Stuart can throw out. But like I said, that's kind of why it could be kind of ex commie which is okay. I kind of hope at some point they have like some of the Russian tanks and everything and like on the, they get like a, 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 you know, on the east, eastern front. Yeah, the Stuart has like a 37 millimeter, exactly. Yeah, these are only Panzer IVs, so they're, they're not the, you know, they're not the most high-end quality tank, but they're, they should be able to stand up to a Stuart. Okay, he's getting fixed. Can you aim? All right, uh, dismount them. Before I give away my position, let's look at my line of sight. Okay, yeah, I do not want to... Uh... Okay, we're going to keep aiming there. If we can get some shots on these guys at least. Minimal, minimal. Shit, I made a mistake. Well, they're at least they're in the field. Catch these guys out in the open. All right, 
what is your line of sight? Nothing, huh? How about here? Well, I will keep this guy aiming sick right there. We'll aim right there. Because they're going to come up here, I think. And he'll be laying an ambush. Uh, you can aim, I don't know. Say, like, right there. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Him up, AT gun. Now we're going to hold off on that. I don't want to give away my AT guns. Okay. Yeah, the steward can be a nasty customer, but it's, you know, I'm just saying the likelihood of it being able to do that to a Panzer IV in the front is, is very small. Can it happen? Absolutely. But not like that. Ugh. Just leave him alone. What? What? What a bunch of poppycock. These, like, two guys in here are holding off, you know, a couple dozen. Yeah, seriously, I found the turret gap, or it found, like, a, like went through the dr loaders. Ugh, those poor guys. I didn't mean for them to get caught out in the open. Really? I think they just gave me that. Lord Grimos, have a good night. Happy to have you here. You're always welcome. You're always wanted. Oh, that fucking Stuart is just... He's causing me all sorts of grief. Heroes of Heartland, cool. All right, you. What can you aim at? There we go. Okay, XCOM. Yeah, critical knockout. This one. All right. What is he aiming at? Okay. So I actually have a shot on that. We're going to try and take that out. Yes! We're going to bail that crew out. They can be better served as something else. So with their hatches open, you actually stand a chance of uh, of hitting them. So 
It doesn't hurt. Hit these guys hard. Yes! Oh, critical. Popped him. All right, things are starting to look in our favor by a lot now. Keep him here. Move these poor suckers right there. We're going to rotate, get our armor up. Wow, living in. 762 just tipped $6.90. And that is nice. No, we seriously, we appreciate that. Thank you. All right, we're going to put some fire on this, Stuart. Maybe we might get a lucky hit on a commander. All right, we have to keep try and keep these guys out of this main building for as long as we can. All right. Nice. AoE 2 Extreme AI is a nightmare for your casual ass. Uh, Thunder Clap Sasquatch. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. This is like, uh, like it's an XCOM style, I guess is the best way to see it. Squad based or unit based division. Probably more like a company. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, right now, everything is based slightly on D-Day, so it's in that era. Um, right now, I'm playing as the Germans. We're trying to retake this town, and we're contending with the Canadians. And they are, you know, this, this Stuart over here had a lucky hit on this Panzer IV, you know, killed three crew members, really, really put some hurt on them. Uh, I got some lucky hits on some tanks. I killed two of their half-tracks so far, eliminated some of their infantry, and killed two Shermans, which is pretty nice, which means they have one one Sherman and this uh, Stuart over here, which is like their MVP right now. He's just he's just wrecking me. Who, what line of sight do we have for that? Ugh. My poor infantry. The thing is, if I can shoot them and cause them to button down the hatches, that's really nice. That'll uh, it'll slow them down. Give me a chance to fight back. All right, these guys. Can you? Yep, just catch them with their dicks in the wind. Eliminated. Excellent. Can you hit that? Hey, you know what? Fire a rocket. Who do we got here? Might as well shoot some pintles. You never know. Suppression. Nice. Let's get them suppressed.
And these guys will be better served alive here to continue on firing down this way. Just running back and forth, you know, playing these sides against each other, if you will. Um, aim. All right, so these tanks are dead. Which means I can rotate this tank. Aim the turret. Can I aim at that? No. See if that'll take the heat off them for a minute. So let us, can we advance? Oh no. We can't go over this rock wall. Okay, that's fine. These guys, what can you do? Can you move? Move there. Aim. All right, well, he won't be able to fire. Aim turret. Let's aim uh, in this general direction. Aim turret. So let's advance that tank right here. Get these to the front. And who else we have here? Get him out of getting shot at. Mm. Yeah, let's keep them there. Put some more hate on these guys. get over here because we need to make a rush over here at some point he's in there good yeah we're gonna keep moving up All right, ending turn. I'm really worried about this firefly over here. Man, that thing is, is mean. It doesn't matter where he hits my tanks, they'll just die. C135, yeah, sorry about that. Losing data sucks. Oh, they're making their big move. Come on, you little jerk. Ugh, man, this fucking Stuart, I swear. Oh shit. Ow. This fucking Sherman out of nowhere. I need to take out that firefly. Yes, hit. Oh shit, that's not the firefly. That must mean.
That's not the firefly either. I don't know where the firefly is. That's not good. Let's move him over here. At least get some suppression in here. Advances take right here. Aim at him. And fire HE. Give him more suppression. these guys down I need to prevent these guys from getting in that building all right putting some hurt on them Well, let us same up there. Can I grenade him? No. No. Just get him out of there. You're kind of pinned, you're pinned. All right, great. Took out, cleared out the courtyard. Um, who do I want to smoke? No one. All right, we're going to end that turn. Uh, the Digiman 619. Well, like I said, I'm playing this game because I want it to be on people's radar because I think it's a great game. And it's still not even fully out yet. And that's what makes it even better is that, you know, this is still just uh, an unfinished game. And I'm, I think for an unfinished game, it has a fantastic amount of potential. And I've been having, I mean, I've already put like 40 hours into this game uh, as an unfinished game. And I think it's hell, hellaciously worthy. It's like $39.99, a, a bit expensive, but um, still, I think this game is completely worthy. I mean, I played this game because I was itching for a game like Close Combat, and nothing really fit that uh, niche anymore, and I uh, I found it. A YouTuber was, was playing it, and I saw it, and I'm just like, hell yeah, I want to play this game. First, let's... Suppress this bad boy and then slap him. Excellent. Thank you. Now we have all those little fast movers gone. Let's aim. Let's see if he can get his revenge on the Stuart. That'd be really nice. Oh, you. Oh, you. Okay, there we go. Alright, he's gone. Yeah. 
Can you get in there? Uh, let's look at line of sight. All right, let's try and clear these guys out because they have been a pain in my ass. All right, yeah, let's let's officially just bail them out. That's the, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that group. Oh, that's going to get ugly in there. All right, tank duel time. Slowly move these guys up. All right, there's not a whole lot I can do at the moment against that Stuart, so. All right, one more turn. Uh, I'm going to lose this building here, I think. It's getting close. There's still another unit to be activated in there. What? Oh, who? You want to take my big boy on, huh? Thundercats. Yeah, Sasquatch, we will definitely get to hydration. I will actually have to go and grab another drink here just to keep up with the hydrate. But really, what I want to do right now is... Alright, let's look line of sight. Oh, line of sight. Alright, advance. Aim turret, rotate, aim turret, can he fire, can he get his revenge? Oh, ho, ho. revenge has been denied, but. The boss can take care of him. Oh, yeah. Frontal hit on that Stuart. Now he's going to get, uh, now he's going to get gang banged and it's not going to be good. Not the one he was looking for. All right, let me grab another drink. I'll be right back. And with drink. Okay.
Okay, they have been set up and let's try and get these guys knocked out. All right, let's finish these guys off. All right, we won. Oh, yeah, we really hammered it to them. Yeah, Sherman Mark III, Sherman Mark III, Sherman Mark III. Oh. Very nice. Yeah, that one was a tough one. I, it was touch and go quite a bit. All right, let's try this one. Eleven and seven six two. What snack? Inquiring wines need to know what feasting you are doing. D Day two two thousand hours. At the western end of their line, the Canadians have suffered a painful reversal. Uno! After taking a village just north of the railroad line, the infantry faced a sudden and determined counterattack by SS Panzergrin... Uh, the defenders held as long as they could, but were forced to surrender. Rumors already... I can't... Stop! Slow! The bloody nose cannot go unanswered! We shall see about that! All right, all right, what do I... Okay, finally, they gave me mortars. Actually, I have two sets of mortars. Excellent. All right, let's see where... Here, here. Okay. I have a stummel. Where can I relocate him to? Outline of sight. Okay. Rotate this way. Uh, a Hanamog. Wait, let's see here. Oh. Uh, relocate. Yeah, relocate here. You relocate there. Who are you? Uh, relocate. Put you right there. We're going to ruin their day. Okay, so I have a sniper over here. Where can I relocate you? I want you right there. And relocate you over here. Keep the sniper there. We we'll have another sniper right there. Uh, we're gonna move you here. Relocate you here. Relocate you. Here and rotate. I'll surprise someone who tries to come up there. And I'll keep these guys here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. Set him in ambush. Right there. Okay. That looks good. Apples and cheese, man. I love me some apples and cheese. What kind of cheese? Sharp cheese? Cheddar cheese? Toe cheese? Beeple cheese? Human cheese? Head cheese? So many cheeses.
cream cheese. Okay, nobody saw nothing. Um, aim. Let us aim you. We're going to aim you down there, yep. You. Aim turret. We're going to aim you down here. Look at this guy, I think he can just come up here and do stuff. No, I don't want to waste my sniper shot on him. But we do have mortars. Drop some shells on them. All right. Let's see what this this hoser does. He's fouling my ambush is what he's doing. Driving up the road in his half track with infantry. How dare. <laughs> I bet they're shitting their pants right now. Oh, that infantry. All right, so yeah, this guy, he's like, oh, <laughs> oh. Close the hatches. Yep, close the hatches. Um, okay. Um, aim. Aim down this way. Yep. Now we're going to drop some mortars on these fools. Because they're all bunched up. That's where mortars will do their deadly work, right down here. Let's 
So this will just give him some Pintle. I don't expect it to do much, but it is mostly there just to be like, fuck you. How about you? Can you? Yep. We're going to mow these guys down. We'll wait till they get closer. All right, and that's my turn. Oh, mortars. Told you, the mortars always pound your artillery. What a douche nozzle. Here they come. Aha! Your machine guns are just as ineffective as mine are. Well, let's see. So we got some guys here. Maybe we can hit an AT gun in the back here. Need to stop these guys from crossing. This tank is going to be an issue. They have some. Uh, they have some shit back there. Let's see if we can keep damaging those units. Give him snipered. Nope. Can't aim at him. It's probably the only shot you'll actually really realistically get to take, so. Yeah, I know. Minimal. AT rocket. Boom! Oh! with the sneak attack. Hmm. Zip over here, give them some support. Um, line of sight there. There, okay. So we're going to advance you here, rotate you one, aim. We're going to fire a smoke shell there. That'll uh, confuzzle things. They have their hatches open. OK. So these guys have their hatches open. A mortar round could stun them. Never a guarantee. Let's 
see. Okay, AT rocket there. Okay, definitely don't want that. You're good. You're good. You're good. Good. And... Get those guys out. This guy has a mortar team. So wherever he dumps them, they're they're hosed. That's good. Okay, great. Nope, that's good. Ah, found their mortar team. On. All I could do is buy that that AT gun some time with that smoke. So basically, I'm going to use my mortars to counter their mortars. It's about the best I can do at the moment. Charge of the Light Brigade. Oh, weak. Nobody wants a lucky hit on my team. Lucky hit their team, not my team. Oh, Shiza. Oh, no. It's those guys that survive. <laughs> oh, no. I needed that gun a lot. All right, well, fine. Grenades. You jerks. Guess what? Now I know where your mortars are, so I'm going to mortar you. Huzzah! Hits! Okay, this armored car. Time for some Daka. All right, he's eliminated. Make sure no one sneak up up on us. Can we get a lucky hit through the fog? No. It was not meant to be. Can't let them get that close. I know there's going to be guys coming here soon, so. All right. Well, we're going to let them approach some more. The Sherman versus that AT gun. Oh, come on. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Hmm. 
Man, the center of the map is just full of dead wreckage. All right, well, these guys can get engaged by him. I think I'm going to chase him with my my half trek. Oh, you jerks. Coming up right behind that poor AT gun. <laughs> I hope they friendly fired themselves. That dropped right in their round. Their their. All right, we're gonna bail out. Can you fire? What a load of crap! Well, we might get a lucky hit. Which one is... These are the ones I want to kill. Well, shit. Let's see if we can cause him to button up. Oh, yeah. That stopped them from approaching. That might have been a mistake. Okay, well, we have some more mortars. We're going to try and take out this mortar team. Trust me, even with one, they can be a horrible pain in the ass. All right, let's see the damage in the next round. Ah, there's their other mortar team. These tanks. Yeah, these guys are sacrificial. I don't know how much longer they'll be able to take. Hold on. We're going to try. Hold this bloody center as long as we can. And if they're smart, they just roll up their tanks right up the middle.
Let's see if they can they're gonna take out these guys. I was worried about that. No. See if we can get revenge on these guys. Got him. Well, maybe get some sort of revenge. Oh, yes. AT rocket, come on, go. Yeah. Very nice. All right, well, we need to start mortaring these guys. They're getting close to taking out my center. My soft, squishy center. And we cannot allow that. Okay. Aim turret. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Dagnab it. Let's keep putting on the pressure there. Well. Okay. Let's move out. I'm going to try and flank these guys, I guess. Let's find grenade them. Come on. Lucky strikes. Nope. Any more lucky hits? Nope. Maybe. Spang! <laughs> All right. One more churn. And the churn, churn, churn. I can potentially, if they don't knock out this gun, get my crew back in there and get him back in the action, and that would be nice. Oh, you jerk. You're shooting at my snipers. Don't do that. Yeah, that's hurting. That's hurting. That's not good either. Okay. Really? Oh, because they saw him. That's right. Actually, can I aim? Yeah. 
There. Won't let me shoot you, so I'll shoot at them. All right, medium mortars. Let's try and get their mortar team out. Continue firing there. Put some more hate on them. Yes. Any damage we can do to those guys will make a big difference in the long run. So I'm OK. Haha, -ha, AT gun is back in action. Do I have anyone I can even shoot at? No. Let's just do the math. Uh, 50 times 5 times 3 grenades. No. Yeah, that's deadly. All right, moving up. Let's look at our line of sight. Can they give me anything better? No, that's, I mean, that's a good spot. Okay. There you go. Maybe I can suppress them. There you go. All right. Now we have to wait for the damage on their side. Oh, that fucking tank. Tank has just been a thorn in my side. Both of them have. Ooh, taking on my sniper, huh? AT team. If I can push them out of here, that'll be good. All right, you aim there. It's the only chance you're really going to get, boys. Good attempt. He has his hatchet open. Let's try and hit a mortar on him. If I can ring their bell, I can at least buy us some time. Ooh, that might cause them to button up. Okay. Suppression, maybe? Not bad. Get them out in the open, and they're gone.
Man, these guys are stubbornly pushing on. Can do nothing but be... You know, tip my hat to their bravery. Sixty nine percent. Oh, well, it'll work. Grenades? Yeah, that's not a bad shot. There we go. Okay. Is Tim next? Yeah, we'll move up more. All right. Another turn down. Just this epic duel between these tanks and this AT gun. He can't knock me out. We can't knock him out. These guys have been I'm surprised they held on as long as they have. Huh. Ooh. Casualty. These mortars. Well, these mortars are going to... I'm going to try and get a hit, like I said, on this tank. Because as long as he has his buttons open... We have a chance. Come on, 25%. Nope. Just more blood, sweat, and tears. Those poor guys. Okay, what way is that? Okay. Time for grenades, jerk. There we go. Ooh, that one was a bloody one. All right. So I know the one that y'all really want to see. Man, there's so many more I haven't uh, even done. Uh, rats and cats. Let's do this one. We're jumping ahead a little bit. But it has the tanks you really want to be seeing. You want to see some of the big boys. Well, it's time to show some of the big boys. Exactly, the unicorn. It's Unicron! Mm hmm. Holding up the British advance. The British forces push rapidly to its objective when disaster strikes. The leading column is ambushed by a small unidentified German unit and is utterly destroyed. Survivors bring in the remaining force reports, all featuring the same dreaded word, tigers. And the Germans are coming to finish the job. T -t 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 tigers. The rats and cats. Yavol. All right. So let's take a look at what armor we have. This is just the uh, Panzer IV. Panzer IV. Panzer IV. Panzer IV. Uh, a Tiger E. And another Tiger E. And another Tiger E. Ah, oh, goody, goody, goody.
Well, yeah, that's good enough for deployment. So I want the infantry to screen. So we'll move this guy up quickly. Followed by the tank. We're going to move our infantry up. What do we have here? This is the tiger. All right, a general advance across the way. Now, I bet you're thinking like, well, if I'm getting tigers, what do they get? And that is a good question. What would they be getting? Any guesses in the chat what the enemy is going to be coming up with? Um, these guys are going to move up. They've been spotted. All right, good enough. Uh, I'm the German. Uh, a firefly is definitely a possibility. It's D-Day plus seven. Yep, so fighting Br British. Sherman, firefly, yep, distinct possibility. Possibility on a Churchill. I haven't actually seen any Churchills in this game. But I saw some of the new scenarios, which I haven't played them all. There's a bunch of scenarios I haven't played. So uh, there very well could be some uh, Churchills in there. But the other option... Ah, yes, the Cromwells. Yep. I think there's a good chance we're going to see some Cromwells. See if we can jump house to house. So one thing is I don't want to have my armor too far ahead without infantry support. That would be a recipe for uh, Nomas. All right. Yep, some definitely some speedy boys. What do we got here? Ah, oh, that's a Cromwell. He's going fast too. Uh, another Cromwell. Oh, man. So two Cromwells. There's probably a Firefly. They probably have as many tanks as I have. But who knows? So these boys are going to go speedy down. Let's 
Let's in this tank with them. Going that way. Going that way. There's my tiger moving up with the half track support and infantry who's been spotted. Get him in buildings. Aim down here. Yeah, we're going to aim there. Where is he? He's over here. Going to aim there. We're going to aim here. Just kind of aim in that general direction. Moving up to flank and spank. Move him up behind at support. Zip him down. I'm going to try and get him over here to drop infantry off over here. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. So I have an ambush ready. Yeah, those Cromwells can actually can beat up my uh, Panzer IVs pretty well. What? Uh, really? Can you make that little shot? Oh. <laughs> well, those are two beautiful side armor shots. I'm going to try and hit uh, him with the, the tiger. It's going to be a lovely engagement. More infantry. Ouch. Infantry. Really? I can't. <laughs> Fine. How about this? And I'll dismount them right there. And I'll continue and advance over here. Oop. There's another Cromwell. Okay, a line of sight, let's keep going. Okay. So I can advance him one. Aim the turret right at him. Oh, right in the side. That wasn't pretty. That must have hurt. Um, we're going to move down this way. Uh, how many turns before the tigers break down? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so far, they don't want to break down because they're tigers. And they say, hey, guess what? I say to the nay. And so they don't. But yeah, absolutely. Tigers are uh, we're notorious for that. Let's 
zip up quick. Oh, shit. I knew there was going to be something there. Maybe we can suppress them. Okay, we got one of the AT guys. Not bad, not bad. Advance the tanks. Move him up. Okay, what what direction is this guy going? Oh, he's going this way. So let's see. Let's say here. Let's say here. All right, let's see what happens. You know, I don't know if this game has mods. You know, that's one reason why I'm showing off this game is because I think it's a great game and I think it's damn well deserving of mods. Uh, the thing is, it, it just, not a lot of people know about it, so I would love to see mods on this game. He has made a grave mistake. The question... Yeah, it's fairly early access, and that's fine. Like I said, it's, they, he comes out... Uh, Ouch. That hurt. That hurt my feelings deep down inside. Yeah, that wasn't the smartest move, but uh, I needed to get infantry in there quick. Ugh, and they paid the price for it. Oh yeah, that guy, atta <laughs> the Cromwell attacking the tiger from the front. Now the question is, do I finish off this one or do I try and hit that one? It's a guaranteed hit pretty much. I'm gonna go with the guaranteed kill. Because he's still going to have a hell of a time trying to pen me from the front. Smelt the infantry there. Move him there. Nice. Surprise attack. Yeah, I don't want to, without sussing us out with infantry, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. You 
Yeah, let's move him back here. You shoot at my infantry, man. We'll get some HE. Um, I'll hold off. I might need that smoke later. They got spotted. Well, let's move him down here. Let's move behind that tank. All right, enter. Really? I thought I took that bastard out. Well, they've damaged my tracks. I mean, I'm okay with being a pillbox. It has a nice area of control, I guess. I guess I'll try and pen this guy in the turret. See if I can uh, pop him down. Huh. All right. Fire. Hit him in the turret. There we go. Knock that tank out. That's a get for shooting my tracks. Fire! Crap. All right, um, cautiously move these tanks up. Keep going that way. You fired anything? Uh, yeah, you can play as the allies. You can play as the, the Brits. So you can play all these as scenarios except on the opposite side. Uh, which is very cool. Uh, and the replayability is that you can move everything around on certain scenarios. So. Police. These guys just don't want to play fair, now do they? Nobody can see them. I don't want to get close to that AT gun, because that thing can... Well, we're going to aim there. Uh, 
All right. I'm going to advance this. Enemy armor spotted. Oh, okay. There's a chromo right there. Crap. I dismount them there. All right, they're safe. Let's get these guys back here. Try and pick up these infantry. Uh, let's rotate. Line of sight. I don't like it, but I don't have much of a choice. Aim turret. Same right there. So now we know a bad guy's right, right there on us. Before you end the turn, who hip here? Okay, well, we're going to keep you there before you start rushing that tank. That sneaky Cromwell. Spang! <laughs> I feel sorry for this guy because he's now attracted the attention of this tiger. Now he's going to go toe to toe with it. Ah, there we go. The firefly. I knew it. Oh. Are you kidding me? I can't begrudge it because, you know, if, if I had made that lucky shot, I would have been like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. So. I was worried I was going to lose that, that Panzer IV. Sure enough. Seriously, yeah, it's. Poor guy. Aha! Now we're in the buildings. Oh crap. Where, what can he see? He can't see nothing. All right, well. Really? That's all I can move? Okay. Sneaky snick. I don't want to go there because these infantry could just do something dumb. Keep my tanks here. Okay.
Really? Well, I might as well just uh, piss him off. Okay. Hmm. Moving up house by house, house by house. Well, let's entice these tanks to come out, shall we? Bang. Oh, that Panzer IV got luck. Tigris Rex, you have a good night's sleep. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. You're always welcome to come and uh, have more fun with us. Because we Beeple people love you. Because we do this because uh, it's fun. No. Oh. oh shit, and an AT gun? Spang! I might have to pop smoke. <laughs> Did you hit any? Okay, good. Whew. Hey, stop shooting at my guys. Nice. All right, well, he's not dead, but we're going to rush him. Oh, shit. Nice. Who, who? I was worried about that one. Okay, well, his target is moved, so we need to repair. You. They have popped smoke. We're going to pop smoke. And we're going to repair. We can get these guys suppressed still. Where shall we go with him? 
Well, I don't want to get too far ahead of the infantry because that's a good way to get knocked out. So we're going to see if we can get shots on him. Okay, and moving up. Get shots on him. All right, just trade some shots. Ooh, lucky hit. And that's why it never hurts to hit, spit some hate. All right, ending turn. Of course. Look at this guy. Surrounded. No option. He's fighting and moving, bobbing and weaving. Of course, this fucking firefly can shoot at me, but I can't shoot at him. Oh. What? Really? You know, I find that hard to believe, but shit happens. Come on, let's knock him out. Thank you. these guys grenaded and see if I can suppress more. Nice, let's take those guys. Wait, what? It's a load of boulder dash. Oh, I infinitely regret that decision. Pop smoke. <sighs> okay. Where can we go? Who do they see? If I can keep this guy suppressed. All right, I've done what I can. I'm 
probably going to lose this Panzer IV unless they get really unlucky. Damn, they had guys there. Oh, they have another AT gun right there. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm getting hammered. Yep, saw that one. Ah. Uh. Rotate this way, Pentel. I probably should have moved him. Aim turret. Come on. Clear out these infantry. All right, they've been cleared. Let's see if I can clear out these tank infantry. All right, I heard them. All right, we'll advance this way. Um, Zippity doodah that way. All right, this one's finally on the move again. Okay. Ah, oh, this fucking ah oh. tank immobilized. That's not good. Oh, now this firefly is gonna come bully him. And an AT crew? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. Okay, deflection. Oh. I'm just getting chewed up on this one. Can you fire? 
Nope. Maybe I should bail out the crew. I'm going to bail him out. There's no way that, that that tank is toast, man. Thank you. All right, eliminate those guys. Thank you. See if I can lure some of their AT guns. Not good, not good at all. Let's get these guys over here. Get them four that way. that tiger down. Use this guy's bait. Keep them there. From there. Alright, ending turn. Hopefully no more terrible surprises. This fucking firefly in the background. It's wreaking havoc. Okay, AT gun is moving. Okay. Move them up. Okay, so I'm going to keep these guys here right next to the Panzer IV just in case. Need these guys. Any targets? Nope. Aim turret. Come on. Fire. Not not what I was looking for. Hail the hydrate. All right, time to hydrate.
Ah, delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piss off this guy. Move my tank this way. So I'm worried about the AT gun. This tiger. Keep moving them up. Moving them up. I guess it would have been better to just stay in uh, hidden, but oh well, oh well, oh well. Spilt milk and such. Come on. Come on. Stay on target. No. Damn it. I need those guys. We're slowly pushing them in to there. So this. They jump back in here. So now they're going to be like, he's smart. Hall mounted machine gun. Nope. Nice. All right. Rotate, rotate, and then pentel him. Really? really? Nothing? Not even a little bit? Oh shit. That one is completely by surprise. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. Surprise. You thought that tiger was out of the action? You thought wrong. If I can use this guy as bait, that'd be nice. Of 
grenades. That'll teach him. Noodle or thank you for the follow. We uh we appreciate it. Every follow is special. Every follow is sacred. So this guy has uh that Panzer four that's damaged. And that Tiger two or that Tiger one that's damaged. Oh, so many infantry. That's why I sent this guy up here to to scout for my precious tanks. Now this fucking firefly. Ugh. Spentus Coyote, uh, redeemed a hydrate. I will, I will have to go grab uh, another drink here in just a minute. Did I get him? Finally, yes. All right, so this guy is going to pop him in the turret. All right, aim. Aim of the tur the hull. All right, tank knocked out. Another one down. It's not pretty, but it'll work. All right, they've been eliminated. Get a little closer. I need to try flushing these guys out. Come on. Pentalum right in the rear. All right. Oh, you didn't know it was a uh, live noodle or? Well, thank you. <sighs> yeah, we got, uh, we got tore up on that one. Um, let's look here. We're going to go to the back here. So I haven't played reconnaissance and force this one. I haven't played Churchill's tackle the bouquade. Uh, who goes there? Tanks and infantry clash in the mist. I haven't played that one. And, uh, can the British finally dislodge the panzer there? And of course we just played rats and cats. So I haven't played these, uh, four campaigns. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to call it an evening here. Uh, hey, if you want to see more of the troop, let me know. You can always drop a message to me in our Discord for the Auxiliary. Uh, if you want me to play other games, let me know. You know, I am always there to take suggestions. No worries about it. You know, I usually play like Mech Warrior 5 in the meantime, or, you know, I even have... Uh, Battletech Advance for the uh, Hairbrain Schemes game uh, that, I, that I'd like to play, uh, and a ton of other games. But this one deserves a lot of love. You know, if you've been on the fence about it, I highly suggest it. It is a lot of fun. 
and uh, it, you know, it's worth it. You can always wait for uh, a, Steam, a Steam sale, of course, but, you know, like I said, this game has a lot of potential, a lot of modability potential, and so, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope you've had a lot of fun, and um, I've been having fun uh, hosting it, so you all have a great night. And, uh, we'll do, uh, one and a half digs. Today, only at WBPS 76, one and a half digs. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Tom Tomadil, Diggs, and their loving son on all of their wacky adventures. Whoa! I think you were supposed to turn left back there, you nitwit! Oh, can it, woman? I know where I'm going. <laughs> Join us tonight only on WBPL 76 the after the stream. <laughs> 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 <laughs>